Hey. Hey, yo. Welcome to another fine episode of Normal World, everybody. Yeah. I am Dave Landau. I'm Quarter Black Garrett. And joining us, who will be joining me at the Funny Bone in Omaha, Nebraska, July 28th, 29th, please welcome Matt McClowery. Yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That was perfect. Perfectly done. Yes. Well done. Hey, uh, while you're watching here, why don't you go down there and hit the little subscribe button and then don't neglect the bell because then it gives you notifications when it wants to. But if you want to really get notifications, go over to over to the Blaze TV. Let them know that we sent you by using the code normal 20. Get 20% off. And be sure to like video. Do those things. The Comments? video. <laughs> Comment whatever it is you tell do. us how much I you hate us. Yeah, it's fine or it love works. us. I prefer love us. either way. I don't care what you do. So I guess we got to talk about this. Uh, the Donald Trump uh, <sighs> earlier today. Donald Trump confirmed he is a target in a federal investigation of January sixth. Uh, Again? Trump, yes. I guess there's a bunch of them. This is like the 80th time. Yeah. Apparently this, this one will work. Yeah. This one's gonna stick. Uh, Trump received a target letter from uh, Special Counsel Jack Smith. Is that right? That Who, sounds made up. Mm -hmm. No, it's deranged Jack Smith. I'm sorry, ah, deranged. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Who gave him four days to report to the grand jury. A target letter is often followed by an indictment. And it's unclear what Trump would be charged with, but this would be his third arrest. Look okay, at that. So third three. arrest for the same deal. What do you think, Matt? Well, I think you should give him some advice. You know what it's like to be arrested multiple times. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> true. Well, being rich and white doesn't hurt. <laughs> it helps a whole lot. I just wish I was rich when I was arrested. <laughs> mm. Oh, I yeah. mean, third time you should charm, get somebody right? to push him down the stairs like you did. <laughs> yeah, was a, yeah, I can maybe hit him with nightsticks. Get mm -hmm. beaten. Yeah, if you get beaten by the cops, sometimes they let you go. Yeah. I learned that once. I think but, even being like a hated person like Donald Trump is, he's probably going to go to the best prison. I think possibly. you mean beloved. Oh, that's what I mean. I'm not sure what channel you're on. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I really don't care at this point. I mean, he didn't do much for the other ones arrested, did he? No, no. not a lot. <laughs> like, I don't know what the tap that's dance why around I'm just with like, this. I don't you're, care. You're going get, to get angry tweets in the chat I know. from prison. Yeah, just mad. Yeah, he did. He did a lot. <laughs> he said the horn guy was so cool. Much, okay. The one who was dressed like a yak. Oh, is that guy, the, they let him out, didn't they? They let him out. The QAnon yeah, shaman. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he did an interview with a few people. The in, podium in guy wardrobe. came to our show. Oh, he did. <laughs> Wait, really? Did he bring the podium? No, he didn't yeah. bring a podium, but he did bring a plaque. Nice. Of an autograph of the podium. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is actually true. It was a true. photograph of the podium. It's a photograph of him holding the podium, and it says, thank you for taking a stand, <laughs> and he signed it. Mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I, uh, so I know he's probably watching, and so thank you for that. That's hilarious. And it's cherished. Uh, put it on the so wall. are some of my family, and that's who my fans are now. So, <laughs> now you know. So yeah. So, boy, yay, Trump. Yay. <laughs> Other news. Uh, you know the climate <laughs> protesters. You know how they glue. <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird because I, I don't even want to get into the politics no, of it. It's just, we've been talking about January 6th for how long forever. now? Forever. And before mm -hmm. that, it was the Russia collusion thing forever. And they were trying to get him on that, and they never did. If they had something, they would have dropped it on him already. Finding Sometimes cool. I feel like a wrestling fan in 1993 where Hulk Hogan is still on top, even though it's time to move on. Yep. But The Rock and Steve Austin are still five years away. That's right. true. Yeah. yeah. There's you, so you know there's trouble coming. Yeah. Like you know it's going to be a bad five years, but mm -hmm. we're all just pretending this worked better. Well, than Well, we're it just did. like all like <laughs> he's that bridge. Well, he's it's like he it's like in WCW. He's like about to fight Ric Flair again, and nobody's excited about it. No, they yeah. just don't want anybody to get hurt for yeah. real. <laughs> it's like I liked all of the economic stuff you did, but the last year there, uh, you kind of forced people to take vaccines and stuff. Like, yeah, I didn't like that. And see, people are getting mad. He said that, but it is true. But it's true. It was under his watch that it all happened. And he was and like, trust I, the experts. I will say he was shoved into that corner by elites oh, and yeah. Democrats. You know, there was a lot of that. His whole cabinet, too. But, Why yeah. is it so taboo to just be like, this is what happened? These are, you know, I you know bad that's about the most Trump. taboo the thing there is nowadays. The yeah, internet. it seems to be very taboo. I know you, you're, you're right, though, Angela. Yeah. And we forgot to introduce Angela, of course, oh, our God, other co host. We did it again. That's Sexism right. in this room I'm sorry. right now. Got to point it out where you see it. So. I know. Dang it. We signed a contract here, and sexism sorry. was in the clause. You're meeting the quota. <laughs> <laughs> so no, sorry. you're right, though. Like, I don't, I just don't care. 
Yeah. Like, I, I think that they are just throwing stuff against a wall to get it to stick, but it's obviously going to be a problem for the entire four years if he was elected. Well, right? the issue so is ridiculous. that the, the 14th Amendment, if you, in the third article of the 14th Amendment, says if you've attempted an insurrection, you can't run for public office. Right. And that's clearly what so they're, they're just going trying for. to get that yes. stuck on him so he can't run because mm-hmm. they're afraid. But like, or who, they think, you know, that this, this helps him in the primary, but hurts him in the general. Mm. I just who's he gonna run up against though? There's really not anybody. Uh the president now and the Well, um, it's like last time it's the just, VP mm, who doesn't. You keep blow. him in the basement yeah. and make him run against himself. Yeah, it's easy yeah. to do. And that with that, Biden still barely won. Still. Barely. Yeah. By a landslide. <laughs> so technically somehow, somehow. But not really. We know. I don't mm. care anymore. So we know. You guys know what I love? What? Climate change protesters Yay. because they always get the job done. Yeah, here's they, a recent. They glue themselves. Yeah, they glue themselves to, to stuff. stuff all the time. Yeah, like here. Uh, here's a recent clip actually uh, from some German protesters who cemented themselves to the road. I love how he's a cartoon character version of Germans. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? It's cement. Come on, bro. You know who's really the, the the sad thing is the first responders. That's who I feel for. We never talk about them, man. You know, let's let's go ahead and interview some of the people who are the first responders to have to deal with these idiots. Let's meet Joe. Hey, it's Joe from uh, Climate Change Rescue Services. You can call us. We get you dumbass unstuck. Uh, they stick themselves to like paintings, to like concrete trees, anything that any kind of uh, soft guy we might want to save. Yeah, pretty much contracting now. I'm full time. I was doing it as a hobby, really, because I just kind of love the business. But uh, they fly me out all over the place. Germany, France. Most of the time I just show up to France. There's already people are stuck to stuff like it's a good, it's a good business to get into. We uh, come out here to Munich Airport. We've got a couple of bozos over here. We got to cut them out. Most of the time, we can get in with chisels. We can chop these guys up, save most of the most of the digits. Yo, drumstick doing that. Oh, Walk it off, dude. You still got one digit. You satisfy the old lady with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it'll be all right, bro. Just shake, shake it off. Shake it off. He'll be good. He'll be fine. Two days, he'll be healed up. This guy though, Hans, dude. You take it in like a chip. You just right off at the shoulder here. Cut off both these limbs, saved you. And uh, you're doing great, dude. There you go. I don't want to touch it because it's still a little tender. Now, these two situations, they happen all the time, but I got another client back here. This does not happen every day, so let's go take a look. Okay. Genetic horse. So Sven over here, he glued his schlong to the concrete. So it's, it's a little abnormal. Most of the time it's hands, feet. This is a little peculiar because he's got his, uh, you know, his what's it stuck there. No, I don't want this. No, I didn't read the email, right? Normally, we could go down the easy angle, a lot of three dimensional space, but uh, really, his body's covering up the problematic areas, so we gotta go in horizontally. So, brace up, buddy. Did we at least stop climate change and fossil fuels? Well, we could only hope, buddy. <laughs> Ah, yes. A man getting his penis sawed off right here on Normal World. Heroes. All right. Anyway, (laughs) I'd like to bring you a special guest. Uh, He has tour dates all over the country this year. Uh, You can look him up at his website, ryanlongcomedy.com. Please welcome Ryan Long. Yes. I love Ryan Long. I know he's great, isn't he? Huge fan. And we're about to talk to him. Hey, there he is. Fellas. How are you, sir? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, I can't hear myself. I cannot, Screw. actually. Uh, <laughs> you can't yeah, hear right? it? It's too late to do anything about it's it. It's too late to fix it? It's too yeah. late. Hold on. He can, can you fix himself? it now? No, I can't can hear me now. Yeah, I, it's, this, I'm back. I couldn't hear myself there all show. There you go. You can't hear yourself oh, okay. the whole show? Yeah, no. See, this is the problem. Yeah, sorry I couldn't come to Dallas. Turn your mic up. My mic? Oh. Hold on, this is amazing. <laughs> this is the best first. This is our first you know what? Skype. We did a- we did a test too. That's the sad part of this yeah. whole thing. Technology, bro. The the it's hold the on, knob Matt. On the side. Do you remember Matt? <laughs> Matt. What? No. See the pole. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Go, go down the pole. You twist it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it like cut the, the other side of the pole there. <laughs> yeah, just rub the Sorry, top of the Ryan. Pole there. Uh, there you got it. Did you hear? Hey, did you hear Ryan. Ryan, yeah. you may have done a tech test, but we did not. 
So uh, that's a little well, bit of Well, you guys had on. to be the live guys, you know what I mean? So that's what happened. Well, that's you know. true. And uh, Matt has slight autism, which is true. Regardless We're of not all that, you said on your new show, Dave. Thank you very much, my friend. How are you doing? Good, man. Yes. But I would have loved to come down to Dallas, but it's uh, I would never come there, even if there was a gun to my mom's head. So Not a fan? This yeah. is... <laughs> <laughs> Are you in New York or are you in Canada right now on tour? We actually just got a, I'll tell you, you used to be around here, the old studio. We're at uh, like 38th. I have a studio around here. Oh, that's and nice. It is legitimately on, uh, the 7-Eleven is off. You can't even go in there. I was in there twice since I've been here. It's both times you have to like pay a guy a vig to get in the store because they have like three like homeless bodyguards. <laughs> then you get in there and there's like four or five guys cruising around, no shirts on, demanding stuff. And I just said 7-Eleven's off the, off the radar now. Yeah, just it's completely sh- ransacked. It should not be a 7-Eleven anymore. Like you get followed by everybody through that one. And oh, it's a soup kitchen, yeah. It is, yeah. And they just want stuff from you. And I'm really not <laughs> sure who works there or if i'm paying the right person i'm always just <laughs> yeah. ha- handing some guy money i'm like i don't know he's got a cup <laughs> it's fine we'll leave how is sure. new york right now it's uh whatever it's pretty I, th- I still think new york's a sick city but you know what i saw i don't know if you guys talked about it but i went to see the uh the um sound of freedom last night that everyone's been talking about i did yeah, see yeah. what do you think <laughs> well, obviously, I don't think it was my favorite type of movie. Just watching kids get kidnapped for three hours. And Not I fun. Like, totally. No, that makes that one again. of us. But all right, go on. But the, it honestly was pretty normal movie until the end. And then after the remember after the credits rolled. Yeah. yeah. And then they have this special message, and the guys like you know, thank you for watching this movie. We're gonna put a QR code to buy someone if you want to buy someone else a ticket. Unless of course you do love human trafficking. If you want more kids <laughs> to be molested, then obviously don't use this QR. <laughs> this goes on for like twenty five yeah. minutes long time <laughs> it's really the like leave a tip thing and you like, have to stare right at them they're like no no if you enjoy kids being sold i mean i mean the qr if, code's right there oh i guess you think god's children are for sale then don't use if, the qr code if you're one of those people that came here to get your jollies then obviously you just ignore this qr card altogether it was yeah. a bit, <laughs> i'm sure you've already walked awesome. out of the theater <laughs> it really is such were, a a sad movie up and yeah. yeah up until that point because you're like oh stay I don't know why I waited to be honest it was not like Nick Fury was gonna come out right but it just said <laughs> wait for a special message and I think half the theater left to be honest yeah most I was left. expecting yeah like in the superhero movies they're gonna show you a little bit of what happens in part two yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Instead, instead well, like, I haven't seen the movie yet but we're in Texas so I'm getting updates about it on my phone yeah, yeah. constantly <laughs> every they have five the, they have minutes. a countdown so right when the the credits come up it's like countdown to a message countdown to the uh-huh. message like you gotta wait look don't get up look at everybody around they're watching you don't get up no they, they definitely sort of drill it in and then at one point so they do that for the first like 40 seconds just be like if you're a pedophile don't donate if you aren't a pedophile obviously you get some money up there and then halfway through that he was like you know and obviously you could watch it on video but there's nothing greater than the cinematic experience you got your popcorn you got your seat then he pivots from them calling yeah. you a pedophile <laughs> to talking about how great the theater experience is <laughs> that, <laughs> the whole thing, me- I don't know I tried to find the message online but I couldn't yeah, find it no that it's is like, hilarious that is the absolutely hilarious thing Larry. Yeah, it's like, what goes better with watching kids get taken for the first 10 minutes of a movie? Hot buttery popcorn. Other people. <laughs> yeah, here's, I'll tell you one thing that was sort of interesting, because obviously there's a bunch of conspiracies about it, but yeah. the, because after I watched it, I went sort of through one of the conspiracies, and one of the big conspiracies is that they were turning the air condition off in all the yeah. theaters so people wouldn't see it, and that happened in my theater. Did it really? <laughs> Hundred percent. I legitimately was looking up at it. And it was like, yeah, they're saying that all the, the they're turning the AC off and all the things. And legitimately, as soon as I got there, the guy did say he was like, listen, the heat's off or the, like, the heat's uh, okay. like super hot in there. If you want to switch your movie, they did try to get me another movie. Wow. But yeah, he's like, maybe look, that's- the guy who owns this theater has eight massage parlors in New York, <laughs> and uh, he's got really a business. Does not want up, you, you know. here. It does I, that's, seem like that's a gotta be bad one, actors. Though. Like, I mean, you're in New York, right? Well, so you watched a movie in New York. Well, sometimes incompetence that, yeah, isn't a conspiracy, there. you know. <laughs> sometimes right, you know, pull that one off. Like, imagine yeah. sending the thing out to all the cinemas, being like, obviously, we're right. gonna be. <laughs> whose job is in charge of turning the AC it's off? It's just individual the... assholes. Yeah, there's like... one person who's like, I make $4 an hour. Uh, if I'm going to be in on human trafficking, I'm going to need a <laughs> little bit of a larger paycheck <laughs> than to smoke people like out of it. From... 
<laughs> Someone from corporate that kind of comes in and turns them all off. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's like, sorry, we're not using air today. It's just a test. We like kids yeah, to be I have to inept. scrape gum off of seats and make sure people aren't having sex. That's my job. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, bro. That's all I'm getting I paid minimum wage. What do you think I'm doing here? I ain't got time for that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I got to get a hold of this this message at the end, though. It was like the funny. I couldn't stop thinking about how fucking insane it was. <laughs> no, because I, I didn't even connect that because I think I was so horrified by it. Yeah, and it's I, a shocking And I thing. donated tickets immediately because I also felt the need that people probably should see the movie. It's the of course you did. But it is. They, it they, is. Prayed, they prayed the kids out like it's a director's line. They go, hey, we're just going to pray some of the kids out. Obviously, if you want to. You have two options. You put money yeah. on this. We're going to release that into the wild, so balls sort of in your court right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, they're like, yeah, they're like, look at this kid. He's so cute. He's almost half gone. You okay. sure you don't want to click that image? <laughs> we, we're, we're it's two, either this movie or a Hollywood movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're $2,000 away from saving this kid. So. Yeah, like, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> there's like a ticker on the screen counting backwards. Like, yeah. It's fine. You can get out of the theater. But if you guys don't come up with two grand, this kid, uh, he's <laughs> look at all the flies on his eyes. Yeah, he's going to go to Cozumel for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> oh, it's going to be in a Brian Singer picture next. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then also they kept saying, he's like, also, you know, seeing it once probably isn't enough. You probably want to come it back to see it again, stuff like that. And it was just like, if you really like stopping child trafficking, come see our movie again. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's Buy one that's like. for you, for yeah. your friend. You'll see it three times. It's like Schindler's List. I'm like, no, I don't think that's one I'm going to rewatch over and over okay. again. <laughs> yeah. It hurt it enough fine, the first time. Fine Yeah, film. only the days when Pornhub's down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really have to make something to keep me cool <laughs> yeah that really is uh yeah that really is absolutely hilarious <laughs> oh man yeah i i uh, that's been going on a lot here where everybody's been talking about it, and we've wanted to yeah. talk to obviously the makers of the movie but it is something that i find interesting how all of a sudden everybody's like you know human trafficking is pretty bad and it's like i don't know why it took one movie for everybody to realize yeah. that human trafficking was going on and is bad i mean it's literally everywhere hidden in plain sight at all times I just sold a baby. I bought one, <laughs> and it wasn't yours. I know. What? Now, what do you I just do? had a new baby. You did have a new baby. Yep. Yeah. For now. <laughs> yeah. What do you think happens with all the awareness that they sort of got? So does anything happen, you think? I, I think like a movie like that because I guess well if they're you, working if on you a do... sequel and they still have project like they still have the operations that they're working on in Haiti. So it's supposed to be funding that those donations. Yeah, they're doing a lot in Haiti. Mm. Do you think well, there Haiti's was worse. anyone? Do you think it's possible that there was anyone that like is a pedophile that watched that and it was kind of like I didn't realize how many kids there were out there on the market? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> yeah like dang it, I'm a bad guy. Yeah, he just realizes he's like, wait, there's a there's, there's a, a whole market feast? for this. <laughs> oh my god, <goodness. laughs> this is a business. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like golden corral on every corner. <laughs> This you is know what? Other- <laughs> it's so easy. All I have to do is not believe the officer, and I don't you go know to jail. You know what the other one thing about it that was kind of true is that, like, not true, but just made me – it was, like, wild if that is true. They basically had, like, the amount of people that were pedophiles in that movie. Like, they would have, like, a gang, for example, right? Yeah. And then they would just be bringing kids in or whatever, and you're like, what, so everybody in the gang's a pedophile? Like – do you know what I mean? You could understand that, like, one of the guys is, but if you're a bunch of gangsters, you know, in the forest, and then someone's like, hey, I brought girls, and they brought seven-year-olds, you think the other gangsters would be like, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, you're going yeah. too far. Were they like, like cocaine, a... I'm okay with making cocaine no. and killing people, but, like, this, too far. Were they like a warrior's exactly. gang where they all dress the same? <laughs> kind They're of. Like, they all have they all... Colombian... Oh, well, in the one scene, they all look like rich American guys getting off a yacht. <laughs> And they were going to go, like, they were the ones that actually got taken out by the, uh, the Mar- I don't know the, what he was at the time, I guess, but yeah, what he became. Like, but they all look like they're just like, they look like they're going to senior frogs, they but all it's a bunch like of nine-year-olds. <laughs> it's the only sure. thing I can really say. And that's They all what, look like the principal from Ferris Bueller. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it is him. How it pissed is, him. is he <laughs> it, that he's, he's not in that movie? Pedophile. Finally a role he could sink his teeth I into. Know. Oh, yeah. He's like, I could have played the pedo. <laughs> he's been why playing Method. Play, yeah, yeah. Why'd you use this guy? Paul Rubens is waiting for a yeah. call. <laughs> he's like, I'm ready. Fired his agent. like... <laughs> <laughs> That is it? the worst job of all time, too, because the guy in the movie that's like the main pedophile hunter or whatever, he essentially has to like sit there watching this stuff and he's like crying watching it. Yeah. <laughs> like the, 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 you think they make the interns do that at the very least. Yeah, you force someone Dude. who doesn't want to be involved. Like, look, I got need you to watch four hours of this. And it's like, why? Yeah. And then you're it's like, for the greater good. <laughs> they just come out. They're like, there's no God. 
<laughs> that's gonna be a rough job, job though. Yeah. Like you let somebody has to that's do the that. real that's the real what's that well, guy that's what, that has a bad that's what job pete johnson said he was doing you know oh yeah. dirty jobs <laughs> with mike uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> they just slip that <laughs> one in <laughs> they run they're out like, of they ideas they're like well <laughs> mike Rowe, <laughs> yeah get on over to the fbi <laughs> mike Rowe, yeah well, it's just one of the jobs he has to do one day <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to yeah, do this be... anymore <laughs> Cleaning up slop, ice road trucking, watching yeah. child porn. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Horrible, so dirty jobs. <laughs> Breaking up a trafficking ring that's just <laughs> that's just in the back of a pizza shop. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, Mike, that's a real dirty job. With Mike Rowe. <laughs> you have to also be a little suspect of anyone who takes that job. You yeah. Know what I mean? That's I was what I'm saying. That too. Like, whenever they cast the lead guy, the main pedophile, like when they're like, you are perfect for this role. I don't even cut your actor. Yeah, you. The guy's like, oh, I've really been studying the character. I think they should be investigated immediately. (laughs) Just investigate them, just to check them out. You know, check the servers and the hard drives. I well, I gotta say that about yeah. like male gynecologist. If you're gonna yeah. pick yeah. that job, because they're mostly females, like it sucks. It, I mean, there's a million jobs like that. But if you are nowadays, when it's like 80 percent female or something, if you are yeah. gonna be the guy that picks that job, at the very least, you need to play it cool. Like, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll pick that one if no one's picking that one. You can't <laughs> yeah, be like, oh, right. or, can't, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't or, just confidently be like gynecologist. I yeah. love it. That's what I want to do for my or life. Or if you're not really. one, but you pick it as your job as a sitcom dad. Yeah, yeah, like Doctor Huxtable. Or why a gynecologist? Or in, interesting. Yeah. Or in both jobs, you're equally mad that they're not all hot. <laughs> you're like, oh, I have to sift through like 99 percent gross pussy. This is disgusting. <laughs> For sure, you thought, yeah, it's old girls coming in. Like, we got a problem, pal. Yeah, yeah you're like, what? What are you? 16? This, this job you. is disgusting. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I would not want to be. I'm going a, to the ear, nose, and throat. I don't want to be anything where you have to look inside someone. That's why you turn the lights yeah. off. No, none of that. Like that's it's like clinical. You even you're like a robot. Like in mm-hmm. porn, I don't get that in porn. Zoom up angles where it's and like the, I don't want to see the that. Opening. That, that opening stuff reminds me of like a fish. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. Like you look. look. Down into it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That it, is not so a good sorry. look. Don't ever no. do that. They're just not interested. No. Yeah, like when they catch a bass. <laughs> and just what are these? Like, yeah, <laughs> we get the hook out of it. Yeah, just throw it back. <laughs> I'm going to be on different sites. That. What are all these close-ups everyone's seeing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you don't go to anal close-ups? Yeah, stuff? Well, <laughs> I thought that was everybody. <laughs> everyone seems pretty familiar with these close-ups. <laughs> everybody here is just like, you don't only have close-ups, porn. I've never Look, seen I've a face. I've traveled the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Natural question. Jeez, I knew Canada was a restrictive country, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got rid of the news. Do you see that? Do they really? Do what? Yeah, yeah. In Canada? Lots. Like this the Canada CCP or whatever it is? That's not CCP. No, it, CBC. Basically, CBC. CBC. It's basically the same thing. We used to always watch it all the time because we lived right across the river from Windsor, so we got we got it on locally. Oh. Uh, why would you watch the Canadian? <laughs> By choice. You want to find him? I oh, don't know. We used to watch you Polka Dot well. Door. You had your weird Sesame Street with the polar bear for some reason. Yep. It, oh, you yeah. mean the TV? Yeah. I thought you were saying you're just checking it on like the Hamilton. Well, news that's no. You had kids in the hall. And it wasn't censored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had kids in the hall that sure. wasn't censored, and we're over in Detroit, and you only got. I mean, can you imagine the news in the '80s for us? It's like, no, we get it. Crack and people getting shot. And you <laughs> yeah. guys are like, let's all have picnic day. Hey, man, we just <laughs> love each other. <laughs> you're from Toronto, right? Yeah, originally. Yeah, Toronto, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. So what was basically, the CBC? Well, I, I don't really, you know, I only, to be honest, follow Canadian news when it kind of makes it here now. Like I'm, I'm so tapped out of that country. But the, um, essentially, they did the same thing as Australia, where they kind of were like, hey, Facebook should be paying uh, news companies, right? And then Facebook was like, no. And then they, they tried to essentially. They try to essentially use leverage where they go, hey, if you don't start paying these companies, um, we're going to kick news off our platforms. And then Facebook was like, yeah, OK, then no news. So if you go on Facebook or like a few other platforms, I guess Instagram, you can't see like, you know, Fox News and all the or wow. CNN, all the Canadian versions. It just says you can't be viewed in your region. <laughs> so basically all it does is kind of like sink any smaller news company. Yeah. Um, obviously make down the reach of those companies and then they can essentially – there's no one that could talk smack about Trudeau because it's just off the market. And then I guess their solution will be like, well, good, we need to subsidize them more now kind of thing. Yeah. But oh, that's awful. I do. <laughs> it's just so stupid. I do like it. was like, him, what though. was the end game? Yeah, just nothing. 
It's, it's only it's grandmas like a, with TVs that still have like antennas. They're the only people that are watching the news. It's if you can't get those on the internet. Yeah, where you have like, oh, what should and what shouldn't, but it's like a guy walking in with his chick and being like, I should have ten girls, and she's like, no, and he's like, okay, well, I guess I'll leave then. <laughs> <laughs> Bargaining chips. He's like, Facebook was like, hey, you need to give all our news companies a bunch of money, and they're like, we're not doing that, and then they're like, well, I guess then we'll have no news. Please. <laughs> None whatsoever. No one learns anything. Trudeau's never worn blackface. Well, multiple, multiple, Canada. multiple times. Oh man, oh, it's crazy. I'll so be there. Feel bad? Feeling sick? Kidding. Kill yourself. Yeah, that is a fun one. Yeah, you guys, gonna... they have the new uh, assisted suicide over there, but it's in like those chambers. Yeah. That looks like you're like teleporting, but you're not. Well, it's like well, a slide teleporting chamber. to the other side. You are teleporting, but then, it, <laughs> but they're almost encouraging it to be like, my grandma's a bit old and says her fingers hurt. Well, so. that's something they're doing good. That should be like anything. Someone comes in, like, I'm getting anxiety. It's like, we've got the solution for that. I think that there should be more of that. <laughs> that's true. That Get in the final pod. solution. We, yeah, we have an anxiety pod for you. You're going to yeah, feel yeah. very relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> just, Your stress will be eliminated. Just sign here. Did you watch the video on TikTok where it was her and her grandmother and they were talking about it, like, in positivity? She was like, yeah, my grandmother just, you know, it's her time and she's just feeling old. So, like, we're really happy about it. And the grandma was there and she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go. She was like, wait, what it are you guys talking about? It was the most dystopian thing I've ever seen. Actually what they do need is a trap door at the very least. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they're yeah. going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Surprise them. Give them a little burst of Make energy it fun. at the end of the day. Let your grandma get eaten by gators. <laughs> they should like have some fun show. ways to do it, though. That's, an, that's another factor, too. Yeah. Yeah, like a surprise. That would be a fun way, like, you figure out. You spin out. the wheel of some sort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, this is good. We're going to bludgeon Nana to death <laughs> after we ask her to go to an ATM <laughs> in an Indian neighborhood. We'll just let nature take its course. Just all sorts Maybe the Nick of... Cage, the bees, is one of the ones for yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. Slow one. Just Nick Cage, bees, bat, bee head. <laughs> It's been a while since an old woman's died from a bee attack. How about <laughs> fire ants? Maybe those? Oh, or like a cage with rats in it. I got to eat through. I like it. There was a big uh, article recently saying that bee pollen was making girls' boobs grow, and it's just like <laughs> funny. Yo, like save the bees. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. With the idea of like every guy just like really getting into bee pollen for his chick lately. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, every guy's just dressed like a beekeeper yeah, raising they've stuff. Got, <laughs> they've all got their own little. I make my own honey. <laughs> It's got plenty of enthusiasts, okay? Yeah, just a guy. I love the environment. Buckets of bee pollen. Don't call me a hero. (laughs) Winking at the guys as he gives his Uh, bee pollen cookies to the guy's chick. Yeah, he's like, trust me. She's going to need them. It works. (laughs) I love bees. Bees are great, man. how they just give you so much stuff. (laughs) (laughs) That show rocks. (laughs) You guys love bees? I'm sort of a bee guy. (laughs) You more of a bumblebee guy or a wasp yeah, I like, man? I like bumblebees. Yeah. Yeah, I like what the do you big want? bumblebees. Big bumblebees. That wasp will make your cock harder. Oh, have some of this soup. <laughs> what? I don't know. People always soup. say that. <laughs> well, people always been talking normal about tw- the bees. <laughs> promo I code normal promo twenty. Code. Promo code normal twenty to yeah. make. Uh, this is the hard to get hitting commentary. The bee cup. I don't know. No, it's okay. I don't want to hold you up all day, Ryan. Though, and I feel—I uh, don't know. I'd still, still like to hear a little more bee talk. If let's you guys talk more bee if you're down for it. I don't. I just want to feel like I, I'm, I'm ruining Love honey. It. But I do like Honey's bees, great. though. What's your favorite kind? <laughs> How many stripes do you like? You like two stripe, three stripe bee? No, if it's two, I was it could be too many stripes. By twelve bees, those and I almost died. It's one of my earliest memories. Like my girl? Yeah. Like... Really? It was very similar to my girl. Yes, but I made it out alive. Right. They were, I was a. I was a. Uh, uh, lawn mowing, and there's, I guess, uh, some sort of a hive situation underneath the lawn mower, and they just went nuts. Oh, damn. And then just like, and then I was just banging on the door, six years old or whatever. Mom, let me in. You were mowing the lawn when say. you were six? <laughs> uh, no, my your earliest memory? <laughs> I could be souping up the story. Also, then my mom was sitting there looking at me. She goes, you have 10 more minutes, and she wouldn't open the door kind of thing. And she Whoa. scares me, spits See, on the I ground. thought you died. I watched my girl as a kid. I thought you died when you got bit by a bee. So, like, I got stung, me and, and I was freaking died. out. Turned out your mom was planting stuff to make her like, tits bigger. <laughs> I'm working on something. Dude, your mom left you outside to get killed? Dude, that's messed up. She sto- She looked at me, and then she just turned the music up louder. <laughs> 
<laughs> you just hear Motley Crue. Baby, Crew. I was born to run. <laughs> I'm back to cooking. <laughs> You're just <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Ma! Ma! Oh, the blast. Blast. The, last the thing, bees, the bees. Last thing you heard was Bob Seger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. Oh, man. All right, well, I don't want to hold you all day, yeah, but... On, tell me, uh, can I do can I take my tour dates? Cause I said yeah, I'm that's what I wanted to do, actually. Yeah, yeah. This Come I was out, trying to it. casually get into, but I sucked at apparently <laughs> just now. Oh, you're, a, you're like a proper broadcast. You've been doing this every day for years. I'm doing a way once too, a week way podcast. Too long. Yeah, but you're great, though. Salt Lake, New York, Tacoma, Vancouver, Kansas City, Edmonton, Los Angeles, Irvine, San Jose, Phoenix, and Toronto. And a lot of those theater dates are like almost sold out. So you've been touring like a madman as well. So, dude, nonstop. You know what the pirate life is like? Dude, I, well, you, I'm sure you deal with a little bit of backlash from the audience because I like that you're. People don't know what to take you as, I think, sometimes, which I like. Do you yeah, ever definitely. get... Well, I I think I get it, especially because I probably do what's going to get backlash in whatever city I'm in. You know what I mean? I kind of... I lean... What's the opposite of pandering? I do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do lean the other way. And then I, I love that every video you put out will definitely push somebody's buttons. Yes. So your comment section sometimes is hilarious just because you're deliberately doing it for that reason. You know what's always funny is when it's all like when two people start arguing and then it just gets like real, real personal. Like they're looking at each other profile pics and like girlfriends and saying, oh, buddy, you wish you were with me. Like, you know what I mean? All that stuff. Yeah. And then you kind of forget about it. And then three days later, you realize these people are still arguing. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just, like, just two guys that like work on rigs or just arguing I love with that each his other. Comedy is yeah. about, you. His comedy is about <laughs> making, bringing people to making fun of everything and still he still somehow makes people hate each other. Other. Yes, that's that's everything makes people. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you had the viral video "Woke First Racist" that just is beautiful and just showed how woke and racist is the exact same thing, and people yeah. were like, "This not, <laughs> no." It's like, oh yeah, no, I got painful. people. I mean, yes, definitely. I feel like it's calmed down a little bit. I don't know what your opinion on that is, but I, I remember, especially from people in entertainment, being like, "Body, you know, you can't do that stuff," and you're just like, "Go try to, you know, go try to audition for roles." I'm not part of that game. Yeah, I'll do yeah, whatever yeah, I want. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, you're doing yeah. just fine you're by never fantastic. having tried to work that way. And now all those people are kind of like sending you messages like, hey, hey sorry, uh, you, yeah. hey, uh, do, you, do you mind telling me what, what, how do, where you buy a microphone? And their last uh, message is like, screw off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're like, hey, man, I secretly <laughs> agree with second you, man. 2020, I hate you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, their last message was like, dude, it is not okay what you're saying. <laughs> and then the message after that's like, do you have any recommendations for Mike's stands? Because it turns out I am starting to podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have... <laughs> I have text messages of people upset because of uh, shows I decided to go on. And then we're like, hey, man, if you need a feature for this week, yeah. I live in the yeah. area. And it's like, oh, it's odd. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a one buddy who's like actually a cool guy. And uh, <laughs> he he messaged me like kind of near the beginning of the pandemic being like, hey, you doing being out there doing these interviews and stuff like that is like wildly irresponsible. That's like the words he used. And he's like, you know, I never tell anyone what to do, but like this is not OK what you're doing or whatever. And I just said. A message back saying 100% you're gonna regret this, and then, <laughs> and then like he's I've never not brought it up to him. Like, dude, he's like, oh, this God guy's not you. one of those dudes, he just got, got like him. sucked in. Do you just and I all it bring happened it up. to a lot of people then? Do you just send him pictures of you on Rogan? <laughs> you're like, well, I think well, it worked he, out. He's like, now he's, you know, he's back to normal. Exactly. Like yeah. he's just back to being your average guy. And he's like super embarrassed that he was, you know, sending that message. But I haven't screenshot it any time. Any time he's out of line, I sent him a message of him policing me. <laughs> There's something about that, dude. Like the whole scenario during 2020, it took people that had sane brains and then just made them into mush. And like yeah, they, yeah, they believed all that snap. stuff. And then they started calling out their friends and stuff like that. Like. I'm glad it's like coming back around and people are going, oh, yeah. Yeah, but you have to Maybe remember it. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, people will hold it. I mean, I don't really care. I'm just used to it at this point. But I know a lot yeah. of people would have said no to being on the Anthony Kumi and Artie Lang yeah, show. Yeah. Who, who would say yes to that? <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. that's, that's absurd. And anyway, uh, well, anyway, I just have one more question, oh, yeah. um, which is, did you guys get that? What happened? Did we? Oh. Hey, what happened? Did I, he cut out? Yeah, he cut. I'm sorry, he's gone. We don't get. We don't get to ask the last why question. Is it, why is it every time we try this? Sorry. Okay. Um. I guess we move on from that. On. That was a weird, like, transition there. We were having fun. 
All right. Hey, so um, anyway, you can check Ryan out uh, at Ryan Long uh, Comedy. Uh, if you scroll back, I can see it. I'm that's my bad, not yours. RyanLongComedy.com, and also check out his podcast, Boys Cast. The Boys. The Boys Cast. They're really, really great dudes. Those guys are hilarious. Mm. Uh, they make some of the best stuff on the internet. So yeah, they home. really do. He's absolutely hilarious, yeah. and he's been. I've known him for about five years since he's been coming on oh. shows that I was doing, and. I really support him. He's a really good dude. We're going to have to take and out his grandma so he can come over dude, here. Dude, every time I got a show, he was one of the first people to congratulate me. And, like, I, I really have respect for one. him. So check him out, please. And if he's coming to your city, buy tickets. Do um but, but speaking of boys, a pair of brothers recently went viral for making out. But they swear it isn't gay. These are actual blood brothers. It's the Island Boys. Island Boys. Oh, they, they, uh, they, got, they got their notoriety in, like, 2020. That was a while ago. So, of course, you know, they don't, they got to come back up. They got to say something that's like, gets attention, <laughs> well, gets they, their eyeballs. They did it. Like, well, they did it. Yeah. So, well, they posted a video. Don't of, put that next to, why would you put that next that's to That's them head? kissing. This isn't even the one that they did. They actually did a really oh. hardcore one of them kissing that they put on their OnlyFans. Who got fans. that picture? And I just, I think it, it's gross. We don't yeah, have a video down, of it, really. right? We're not going to yeah, play the video. One of the brothers told TMZ Dude, that it is. They have no sexual feelings for the other brother, but I, I personally. I'm doubting that. Either which way, I find it disgusting. I mean, can you imagine two brothers doing something like this? Yahoo! Why? <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, wow. This ruined my childhood. <laughs> There's a cease and desist letter coming. Yeah. Yes, there is. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo, <laughs> classically uh, litigious. Yeah, I don't know. They let the first movie go. <laughs> it was killed Bob Hoskins. <sighs> anyway, uh, Snow White, by the way. Matt, have you heard about this? Snow White. I have, yes. The way you're sitting is scaring me. <laughs> What's wrong with the It's very aggressive. It's, it's just, very aggressive. You're staring at Garrett in a way that looks like I, you're going to hurt I'm him. I'm trying not to look like I'm looking at the screen the whole but time. But you are. Dude, don't do it. Look at Garrett. Look at the camera. Don't look, look at, at me. The don't camera. tell him to look at me. He was looking at me the whole no, look time. Look at the camera. <laughs> look at the camera oh. over there. You look. There you go. You're I know. I'm not going to tell him to look at you. you you're telling Dude, you me to that, look though? normally. Well, like, I'll recreate the, the it. Go to the wide battle. shot. He was sitting like this. <laughs> like, losing <laughs> battle. You were go a little spread eagle. I was spread eagle. You can't. I'm. I'm from the shoulders up. It's fine. Why don't you go ahead and read this? I feel like Edith Ann in this chair. Well, you look like whoever that is. <laughs> it's Lily Tomlin in the giant chair. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. Uh, sorry. These are comfortable. Though. I'll tell my mother when I see her <laughs> in heaven, if that's <laughs> remotely possible. Well, you can go to Canada and you can get there faster. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what about heaven. Disney is remaking a live action version of Snow White. <laughs> except Snow White is not white, which I honestly... Don't get I, I don't really care at all. Apparently, she's part Colombian, but let's be honest, some of the best white comes from Colombia. Hey. But <laughs> hey, that's a cocaine joke, kids. The real controversy is uh, that the dwarves are full grown adults. <laughs> <laughs> and very diverse. Yeah, man. there's actually six uh, adults, and the seventh one <laughs> is a dwarf, which uh, may be Peter Dinklage. Yeah, it's they Snow cut White down the entire... and the one dwarf. <laughs> They could the <laughs> it's Snow White, that six means, dangerous men who share a house that and means a dwarf. That every broke dwarf actor in Hollywood saw there was a Snow White remake being made. Yeah. I'm like, here's my opportunity. And it's my like, time. No, we're going to mix it up this time. Well, Peter <laughs> Dinklage, he did mess it up for all of them by going out there and saying, like, we, this is perpetuating stereotypes of small people and midgets and stuff well, let's like it should not Peter be Dinklage, that's just like an what, edgy he, comic who says you can't make those jokes anymore he's just, just doing pulling, it. he's just pulling the rope up for all he the other competition he made his money bags and he's, he, yeah. Yeah. he's taking his yeah. school back yeah. Yeah, he wants exactly. those jobs for himself <laughs> and he's, he's like, this is mine yeah it's, it's mine not, right when, what is I, I guess Disney said that they are they're taking the dwarf character in a whole new direction uh, because they want they don't want to reinforce stereotypes which is why they're Changing every what? character to what? be a different color, I guess. What's the stereotype? What are the stereotypes of, of dwarfs? Like, like, they sneeze like, a lot. One falls right. asleep. Yeah, one's very grumpy. Yeah. What is the stereotype? One's, what are the names? One's dopey. He's well, always got a syringe in well, his arm. <laughs> Peter syringe. Peter could have played the grumpy one. Why would one? you yeah. want six yeah. grown men with her? Isn't that worse? 
I, th- that they're mixed race or genders too. Well, yeah, yeah there's, there's, there's like there's, like there's like some genders. them. Oh, there's a oh, there's a, mi- oh, there's a them and a she. There's okay. a them and a she. So it's like I'm, I'm Hershey. Well, like I'm they didn't want to perpetuate crystal. the stereotype that dwarves are real. Are, <laughs> oh, yeah, like true. are hard workers <laughs> that yeah. have a really nice well, house like, together and work together as they, family. They, they already like, took the Oompa Loompas out of the new Wally Wonka movie. Yeah, yeah, Hugh Grant got that. He's orange. He's in Trump face. You know. So you can't have Oompa Loompas now? You can't have Oompa Loompas. You can't, you can't, can't have, have Oompa dwarves. Loompas, but they're Hugh Grant. Yeah. <laughs> I you, have, you have to... That's that's like black face, man. That's dwarf face. I called it Trump face. That's just, exactly what it is. But are they tiny Hugh Grants? Yeah, it's a tiny, yeah, Hugh, yeah, Grant. It's a tiny Hugh Grant. Well, then... Uh, then what's what's Hugh the because, and Well, it's so important because it's the Willy Wonka prequel because we needed to know how he got a chocolate factory. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. cool. We yeah. want to know how a man built a chocolate factory yeah. filled with dwarf. <laughs> so what, he catches them? No, literally. <laughs> he does in the trailer. Here's how I caught my chocolate slaves. <laughs> That's going to sound good. <laughs> it, should just be, it should just be him coming into some money and having to talk to realtors and like, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, good, all the practical right, things about running location. a business. Yeah. It was some in seed money. Yeah. It in England or Norway. I mean, where I know Roald Dahl was from Norway. So let's say it's, it's a whimsical it, land. Of it, okay, no it's a name. whimsical yeah. land of a, a grandfather on welfare who can only walk yes. when his grandson wins a factory. So yeah, how do you rewind that? Like, so you put that on what? Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. Who's that? He's the guy from Dune. Uh, and he's the one playing. He's, he's, playing Wonka, he's Willy Wonka. Yeah. Who yeah. wants more Wonka? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, nobody. How many versions of a movie do you want? I saw the Johnny Depp one. I mean, how many do you yeah. need? Hollywood is devoid of co- like content, but then they creativity, find, talent. But then they're mad at the original. They're like, "Can you believe there's dwarves in it? Make Hugh Grant a dwarf." <laughs> <laughs> we apologize for the original. We're still going to profit off it on yeah. streaming, but yeah. we're, we're still going to use it. We're not proud of. We don't feel good about it. And now we have six various gender <laughs> non dwarves. Yeah, they just said they're magical beings. Okay, what does that mean? Hi, I'm I, I'm rapey. <laughs> I'm I'm horny. <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm G H B E. I'm I'm wet. <laughs> I'm wet. <laughs> I'm squirty. I'm grabby. I'm put down a towel. We've all been alone here for a while. A long time. We haven't seen a fair skinned woman a sausage factory in like here. you. Fair skinned brown gal like you. <laughs> been working in the Cave systems. Like, and also, why why are people mad if it's a, why keep getting angry if a Colombian uh, woman? It's Snow White. Well, yeah, who cares? It's, I get that she's white. It's well, in they the do name. it to make it them angry, the, so we keep talking name. about it. It's like dangling keys. Meanwhile, there's World War Three over here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it is. They're just trying to. It's gonna keep suck us. regardless. If it, it could be a white girl, it's gonna suck. The movie's gonna suck. Yeah, it's not going to be good, and yeah, it just keeps everybody divided. Yeah. yeah, you get mad for six months, and then a year later, you watch the old one again, you know? Exactly. Well, you Who don't. is it for? Yeah. Who is the movie for? Because when it goes home to home video, kids are just going to watch the original. Who's watching the movie? Or when it's not streaming in six weeks anymore. Well, it just looks like The Handsmaid Tale lost in, like... <laughs> What is it? Well, they don't even look like the dwarves. They look like they're in a Men Without Hats video. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a jam band. It yeah. looks like they've been yeah. following fish. Yeah, and yeah, like Red Riding Hood just walked into it and she's about to rock out. It's all just nonsense. Silliness. They don't look like they've been following fish. They look cleaner. <laughs> no offense. I've been to many just... fish shows. It's a joke. Relax. <laughs> they just look people, like they though. would dance like fish heads dance. Like, they would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, oh, it's I the, like the age music. of the Aquarius. They're trying to get her to try Molly. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like touching her knees They're and like, giving hey, her try glow stick try shows. This acid, it didn't come from feds. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Try it. Put it hey, on your tongue. Have you met the one your that's your a dwarf? He's our god. Yeah. You want the acid that came from the feds. Yeah, that's you the do. best kind? Yeah. I mean, it's the most It's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. Of course, it'll get you to tell the truth. That's what they wanted it for. <laughs> it's a mind control thing. <laughs> It'll get you to shoot someone important. <laughs> yeah. <Exactly. laughs> in case you ever, want, if you ever wanted to take somebody out you weren't intending to, take yeah. some federal acid. Go also, this show band. is brought to you by Federal LSD. Bring. Get it anywhere where a fake underage, <laughs> fake <laughs> <laughs> undercover agent sells LSD. Probably yes. also underage. Yes, yes. underage. <laughs> Fed LSD. Perfect. The same place you get girls under 12. <laughs> the feds. Fed SD. <laughs> L. <laughs> Don't they the switched up the, the letters now in the theaters. Oh, I see. Now yeah. in theaters. Yeah. <laughs> the sound of acid. <laughs> 
what? It's just, yeah, I don't care about any of this stuff anymore. Yeah. It means nothing. It's me. clown world. That's where we live in. I'm clown pilled, man. You know, like the guys are like, yo, get, get red pilled, bro. I was red pilled a long time ago. I'm clown pilled now. Just laugh at everything. That's everything is worth. Just laugh at it. I just well, take Lexapro. Yeah. Well, you can do that too. So. It's true. I take, uh, well, they don't talk about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's no, called I'm horny probably. goat weed. They sell it at the <laughs> gas station. Uh, they have license to do that? I don't know what it is, but it makes my pee orange Ooh. and my boners sideways. <laughs> doesn't just work, like but I like. keep taking it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, have, I have the desire where <laughs> it just turns. I feel like if I don't take it, I'll die. <laughs> but it doesn't work at all for It doesn't erections. work at all, but it if doesn't. I stop, I'll get sick. So I don't have to. <laughs> I don't feel good, so I keep taking it. It's how I stay potent. <laughs> Who would really buy that? Where they're like, let me get some condoms. Which, by the way, have you seen the names of condoms lately? Just no. looking. Do they get ridiculous? Yeah, like raw. It's just called <laughs> raw. Like it's well, the, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, but just we're not even <laughs> we're not even trying anymore with making it sound sexy. <laughs> that's like everything though. Like music is the same way. Like R and B used to be like, ooh, baby, yeah. you know, like. But now it's just like, take off your pants. I'm gonna. Yeah. But it's not even like ribbed for her pleasure. It's just like raw, stuff it in there. Just <laughs> it in there. Ain't nothing to protect you. you Who cares sick. about her? <laughs> it's all about you, dog. <laughs> well, it's like they, they destigmatized everything, and there's no shame in anything anymore, but then there's like no pleasure, you know? Because yeah. there's like no, you know, there's no, like, it's like if, 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 it's okay to eat ice cream all the time. Then yeah, what happened to the romance? It's not a treat. It's a little bit of romance, <laughs> a little foreplay. Yeah. You don't want to be like, oh, raw. Ram at home. Little, yeah. I don't know. You, I don't that, look. you don't want that porn angle. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want that. the gaping. The porn gaping. Angle. No, when that, you yeah, need we don't to want that. see it's that. Not good. And I don't Nobody watch porn that. myself. Never even heard of it. Never touched it. Watched a little. <laughs> <laughs> Dabbled. Yeah, I dabbled in it. You not know. gonna lie. Yeah. I'm, I have some homemade stuff I did. <laughs> I have put so you to the only rain. watch your own video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and a spatula. <laughs> yeah, I mean, You're somewhere like, wow, someone it's... has every single one of our search histories. They have, of course, to. they yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, but it's uh, they have everybody's too. Yeah. So when they drop it, you're just going to be like, it's yeah, but look at yeah. yours. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, you're right. Yeah, you and like 50 million other <laughs> I didn't people. know mine also came out today. They can never blackmail people with that because it's like, yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody's yeah. is humiliating. Yeah. What are you going to do? We're all like, we're all monsters. It's fine. Yeah. We're people all disgusting are, animals. Yeah. What's people would just be like, <laughs> well, I, didn't, I, I didn't do anything to it. I just clicked on it because it was weird. <laughs> We're all <laughs> monsters. Yeah, That's how yeah. I know about the hole. Angela, back yeah. me up on this. You guys know there was a camera you were watching me on yeah. through the phone. You saw we me see looking the at this angle right I here. I sent it to like... my friends because I thought it was funny. Yeah, I went back to the Asian girl's feet. <laughs> God, it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, what happened? I blacked out for like. So did yeah. I. So did I. Like, what happened? I just saw red. It must be from the horny goat weed I've been taking from gas stations <laughs> <laughs> and the yellow jackets. Been... Do you snort yours? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. I think you've been putting it in the water. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how Angela and I got it. That's what I do. And I just put it in every drink I have. Just like Cosby. No, I don't. Dr <laughs> I put it in water, but I don't drink it. <laughs> That's a good point that Cosby did have. He was a gynecologist who worked out of his yes. basement. Yeah, I never thought about that. The signs were always there. They were yeah. there the whole time. <laughs> He wasn't even, like, disguising it. He Not had a, a prescription pad, too. He was hiding yeah. it behind it. So was a, well, and, I mean, it wasn't even a secret. One day, Hannibal Burris was just like, you know, he's a rapist, right? And everybody's like, there was oh, a what? yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, everybody knew. <laughs> In comedy, you're like, yeah. Bro, I didn't know. I was a little kid. There were like, people that were mentioning guy. it awesome. a long time ago. There's, like, 30 Rock episodes where people... 30 Rock jokes, yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh. Apparently. No, he, he was known as a philanderer for a long time, but then he was known as a... Hey, a well, he was on Larry Stupid. King I don't know talking about giving girls Spanish fly. Yeah. And his stand-up act. Yeah. What's Spanish fly? Yeah. GHB, yeah. date yeah. rape drug. Oh. Yeah. Why is it oh, called okay. Spanish fly? It used to be called that. So actually, when you listen to like some of his earlier albums from the 70s, uh, 60s, I shouldn't say earlier. When it was okay him, to do the things But he, he would say that. He'd be like, give the girl the Spanish fly. Like he mentions <laughs> it a bunch on the... Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for reals. Dude, I'm so mm -hmm. stupid. I have no, like, 
radar for that. <laughs> I was just like, hey, this guy is awesome. I love this guy. He's I did a spot on impression. Yeah, he did. <laughs> it was very to me. <laughs> well, he, was talking, he was talking <laughs> about I'm afraid to do my Cosby yeah. impression. It's why? good. Why? Too good. It's terrible. <laughs> too good. That's why. Because the hate mail you yeah, got about it? Yeah, the hate mail I got about it. <laughs> Because I do it like this and then people get upset, you That's see. Good. It's I so know, good. some what people are you hate it. About? Yeah. it so is, drink dude. the That's Spanish amazing. fly and good night. He's bird. in the room right now. That's yeah. Really yeah. Good. Like, I, like I close my eyes, I hear Cosby. Come in the basement, there's a brick wall. Oh, God. I'm scared. <laughs> dude, yeah. That's what was Watch so out, weird. Angela. Uh-oh. Don't drink any of that. He's got a soundproof basement just filled with bricks. <laughs> like, how weird. I'm just going to check your pussy. <laughs> Don't worry about asking, the soundproof. Hey, uh, I play the Dad, drums down here. How come none of your clients ever come out? Oh, uh, son, <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> There's a back door you don't know about. <laughs> he's still delivering the Let baby. Let me show you so. the angle. <laughs> <laughs> Which he's, he's selling. Just... <laughs> got Polaroids. <laughs> like he's in Las Vegas. Yeah. Like, hey, you want some of those? How come you order? always <laughs> carry out your clients and put them in a cab when they drove here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't do know. Not know. Quit asking <laughs> questions. All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Then Rudy. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I just said that out loud. Nobody <laughs> will know what I'm talking about because it was in my headset. They said Bill Cosby owns a part of this <laughs> they network. Told stop, <laughs> tell, stop, stop. Stop. talking about. It. Stop, stop. 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 I did not know the B in Blaze was for Bill Cosby. <laughs> So it's really they don't like your impression. So Matt, you look you look happy. Um, is there anything <laughs> new in your world you'd like to share before we dismount for the evening? No, there isn't. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Perfect. Ah, uh, seen any good movies lately? <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, uh, good shows? No. Okay. Um, really none? No. Okay. Not none at all. No. Not none even that I brought you to. No. no. Well, all right then. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt will be with me at the Funny Bone in Omaha in just two weeks, <laughs> July 28th and 29th. I write stuff for comedy. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I write stuff me. for stand up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I write my jokes for my stand up act. <laughs> Thank that you. way, when I'm off, I have something to fall back on. I thought you were very good today. <laughs> I, read, My, I write uh, jokes for comedy. <laughs> okay. I love how having a conversation with Matt, too, all day long is the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. And then if you do just ask him a normal question in an it's interview like, like this, it, it just makes me happy. Because this reaction is always going to be good. <laughs> And I'll be in Columbus, Ohio this weekend, hey, nice. July 21, 22. You can catch me and Derek Richards. That's an actual photo of me. <laughs> uh, that's me. We had to put the Normal World logo up there because I was watching gaping <laughs> porn. <laughs> the was, FBI's it photo. It was just a kaleidoscope of anus. <laughs> anus. How long are we going to be Dying. on this network? <laughs> I Dying. don't know. Uh, you can see me. I'm going to be at San Diego Comic Con this whole weekend. You can come to panel, no, not panel, booth 1705, and uh, I'll be hanging out there. So go, go, uh, you know, hang out, shake my hand. And I want to thank, yeah, do those things. And I want to thank Ryan Long for being on the show. Ryan is fantastic. Please be sure to check him out. Hell yeah. And uh, Matt, uh, will you come back soon? If you'll have me, I would love to have Absolutely. you. Absolutely, maybe switch a flight up. Uh, I would love, yeah. I sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm inviting you. Please, Man, I'm I publicly you. inviting you to be on tomorrow. <laughs> I would. I'll be on tomorrow. You want to do it? Hell Absolutely. yeah, dude! All right, let's have Matt back tomorrow. Uh, we'll join you tomorrow, right here, <laughs> same time, same place, maybe same beautiful face. Is <laughs> bye. <laughs>